Of our macronutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, phosphorus is typically our second most deficient nutrient in the state of Oklahoma. And as I talk about managing phosphorus, sometimes I get beyond some of the basics of what phosphorus does and why it's important in the plant and how we manage it. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking about phosphorus. Uh, many would say the phosphorus is the, the powerhouse of the plant. It's used for photosynthesis, it's used for uh, energy transfer, it's involved with ADP and ATP. Basically, if you want to call it a superhero, it's that energy superhero, the, the, the thing that provides energy and allows the plant to have energy. Now, unlike nitrogen, which goes, has a mobile form, which is nitrate, phosphorus is in forms that are very immobile in the soil. Now, now, phosphorus is immobile in the soil because it's very reactive. So we put any kind of phosphorus in the soil, just any pea put in the soil. Now we'll put phosphorus in the soil that, that is very available and very soluble and very mobile in the forms of, of phosphorus, which comes as 1846O, which is diammonium phosphate, and 1152O, which is monoammonium phosphate. Those phosphates have a, a single calcium on a phosphate which is easily torn apart and made plant available. But as soon as we get it into that soil system, we start having forms of phosphate like H2PO4 and HPO4, which are very chemically reactive. And so we always talk about phosphorus being immobile. It's not because it's binding to the soil and can't move. It's because if there's any cation in the system, so cation is a positively charged ion. If there's any cation in the system like a calcium, magnesium, iron, or aluminum, we're going to find phosphorus binding with those and creating compounds that become more and more insoluble. Now, where it binds, whether it binds to a calcium or an iron, is going to be based upon the soil pH. In a pH at seven or above, it's going to focus on, it's going to concentrate on the calciums in the system by binding with calciums, creating calcium phosphates. In our acidic soils, those soils that fall below a six, we're really going to be binding with irons and aluminums, creating iron phosphates and aluminum phosphates. Now this process is, is relatively slow. It happens over a cropping cycle or two, but in a matter of about two to three years, what we apply in the soil as a fertilizer will turn into rock phosphate. The very same mineral that's being mined in Florida and treated with acid to be made a fertilizer source. So that's why we say phosphorus is, is most mobile when we first apply it because it's in a form that has the, less, the least amount of chemical bonds to it and it can move. So we apply phosphorus and it moves. And then for just a little bit, that first strain, and then it starts binding immediately with the calciums and irons and aluminums, becoming things that are minerals and not no longer plant available. That's why when we look at phosphorus management, we like to band it, put it in the soil, put it in concentrated bands to slow this process of binding with our cations. Now, if you want to know more about phosphorus, you can join in and watch some of the uh, soil fertility lectures. Those links can be found on sunup.okstate.edu.